Welcome back here to Pristine Venom, the channel made just for hustlers like you and I. Today's the last day of March, so we're about to get into this one month collection. So I have four locations I'm gonna hit up today, and out of those four locations, I have five vending machines there. So we're not going today to do any restocks. We're just strictly collecting the cash and taking out the expired snacks. It's been weeks since I last serviced any of my machines, so I know some expired snacks in almost all of them. So that's the two main objectives for the day. And if we can knock out just those two things, it'll be a great day. And I don't know if y'all can tell out the window, but we are dealing with a severe storm warning right now. So I'm dealing with all those winds. So that's another reason it's going to be a light day today. So without wasting any more time, let me go pick up my cameraman. I'm going to meet y'all at my first location. Here we are at our first location. I don't know if y'all can hear me through all this rain. Check this out. Yeah, this is a severe thunderstorm. So as you can see, we're in the middle of a severe storm. So I ain't going to be able to show y'all the machine here. So I'm just running there real quick. Stay as dry as I can. Y'all see what the weather looking like. So I'm gonna be back in the car with the money and I'll let y'all know what that machine brought in for the month of March. Then I decided to let the rain go ahead and wet up my phone just so I could bring you along with me. This a hit right here. Oh man, it's warm in here. And this is that machine with the broken air compressor or it needs to be recharged. I believe that's what it is. So I don't expect much to have sold here. And we're back in the truck with the money and I'm soaked. But let's get into it. Let me show y'all what this machine brought in. Yeah, this machine did all right. It might not look like much, but remember on my last one month collection video, this is the same location where the drink machine had a had a problem and come to find out the air compressor just needs to be recharged. So I'm gonna get into that next week. So it's a hot machine made this much money. Hey, I'm not gonna complain. All right, let's get to our second location. I'll meet y'all there. So we're here at our second location, which is the church slash community center slash a bunch of other things. But come to find out, I'm looking around the parking lot right now. I see some buses and a bunch of cars. So I doubt I'm gonna be able to record for y'all, but I'm just running here and collect the cash, do the best I can for you. Hey, y'all just stay tuned with me. This a hit right here. Yeah. Just from the size of the stack I pulled out, I could immediately tell that there was something wrong with this machine. So I take off the bill mag and look what I found. It's a dollar bill jammed in a bill acceptor. So this will cause your machine not to take any more money. And I believe that's the case here. Now what I'm doing is removing all of the old snacks or the snacks that are about to expire. All right, fine. we're back in the truck from our second location. Let's check out what that machine brought in. So y'all gotta keep in mind that this location was on spring break for two weeks. And not only that, I only filled it up one time this entire month. So it's been empty for quite a while. So with all that in mind, this machine did all right. So yeah, this wraps up our second location. About to head to location three. I'll meet y'all there. And here we are at my third location. So we're gonna go ahead and get in here. In this location, it's the warehouse break room with the two vending machines, the snack machine and the drink machine. So let's get in there and see how they did for the month of March. This is it right here. Yeah. Example of a bad loading, those vanilla wafers. They should not be looking like that. That means I loaded them wrong, so I'm gonna be a little more careful this time. What I'm doing right now, I gotta unplug this car reader. From my last video, I remember I explained how I need an extension cord so it won't be like this. So I'm gonna unplug this so I go and open my door up. Make sure I turn the power off. The power's off, so now I can unplug it. Of course. 
back together, hooking up my nice card ready to make sure everything's good. And look, while we talking about it, let me show y'all. I got an email from Nyx just last week inviting me to be affiliated with them. So I am now a Nyx affiliate. If you're looking for a Nyx card reader, use my discount code. You'll get 7% off. It's pristine vending when you go to check out. Hey, it's a big help. Y'all should do it. Up. And make sure y'all take advantage of that discount if you get one. I know brand new, I think they're about $350 before tax, so that 7% will be a big help. Not only to my channel, but to your pockets as well. All right, we're done with the snack machine. Let's get on to the drinks. Let's check it out. Oh man, somebody broke my return, but check that out. Wow. Amazing. Maybe we get y'all to push it back out. Yeah, let me see. Beach. This is it right here. Wow. And look, it just dropped the chain, so I guess that's the dollar they was missing right there. push this the more that was coming out so I guess that's the dollar that it was down let me see how much is that one a dollar and 15 cent look like what that's somebody's money right there all right so that's for him I don't see the three dollars but that's a dollar and some change and then we still got to get him his money but let's get back to this soda machine now that that's fixed I thought it was gonna cost me some more money but that's out the way so let's go ahead and check it out now see what all sold Okay, right. this machine is doing pretty well. The Gatorades are going right here. These Mountain Dews are selling pretty well. What's this? These Mountain Dews are all the way out. Uh, let me let me show you. Check that out. They're all the way at the bottom. So I should have brought more Mountain Dews. But like I told y'all, we're not here for the restock. We're more so here to collect the cash and get all the old stuff out. So I'm gonna just fill in what I do got, which is a few sodas, so it's gonna do that. So I do got a little case of these, like a half a case of these left, which are the Mountain Dew Sparks. Surprisingly, they're selling pretty well here. So we're gonna put these in. Then I got another case of Dr. Peppers. Another half case. Let's get those in there. And the Dr. Peppers right here, so it's just enough room for them. And I have some extra Pepsis left on this side. Yeah, if you remember my last video, the Pepsis was all the way at the top, so I put the remainder of the Pepsis on top of the Coke. So now we can put those Pepsis on top of the columns now. They made some room for us, so let's go ahead and do that. And that's it for that. So we just gotta bring more Mountain Dews and get some more Gatorades for the next time. So let's get on to the cash. our person that I deal with here and then she'll make sure that this gets to the right hands. If y'all are interested in taking advantage of this NYX discount code, you can find a link down in my description. What's going on Hustle Fan? We're back here in the truck from our third location. So instead of showing y'all the money like I normally would when we get back in the truck, I'm gonna just try to hurry up and get this out of the way. We got one more location to hit up so I'm gonna show y'all all the money at the end of the video. On both of my machines I did have a note at this location. The snack machine took one dollar from this guy. Okay so I gave that back. The drink machine, they said it took $3. Now, my rationale of thinking is if the machine took your first dollar or even your second dollar, okay, why would you put a third dollar in there? But I only found like a dollar and a half, so a dollar fifty cent was jammed in the machine. But I went on and gave them the $3 back anyway. Who's gonna cry over a dollar, right? So we about to get up out of here and head to our final location, location number four. See y'all there. And here we are at our fourth and final location. 
without further ado, let's just get in there and get to the collection. See you on the inside. This a hit right here. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna start off by pulling all the expired product out. April 2nd. So that's that's going bad in two days. Just two days. But we're gonna go and pull them anyway. This is everything we just took out. Look like the skeleton of a machine, right? Hey, we're gonna get into it though. Let's see what we got to fill it up with. And I'm using the rest of the leftover inventory that I had back home to fill up these machines. I want to start my inventory on zero so I can stock up fresh for next month. And now let's see how much this vending machine brought in for the month of March. So we barely made it back to the truck, trench and wet. But that's all four locations, five vending machines for the month of March. I'm gonna add up all the money these machines brought in for the month and get back with you in a little bit. Finally back here at the lab. I got all the bills for March right here. And here's all the change. All right, so I have the total for each machine written down on this list. So I'm gonna just read it down off the pad. So the first location drink machine brought in $41 cash, $12.85 in change for a total of $53.85. The second location was a snack machine and that brought in $34 in cash, $49.90 in change for a total of $83.90. And the third location had two vending machines, a snack machine and a soda machine. The snack machine brought in $30 in cash, $17.45 in change and credit sales of $20 for a total of $67.45. And the soda machine brought in $41 cash, $5.75 in change, and $66.50 in credit sales for a total of $113.25. And the fourth location is also a snack machine, and that brought in $48 in cash, $12.65 in change, and the credit sales here are $198.55, so that brings the total for this machine $259.20. So the total for all five of these vending machines is $577.65. Make sure to lock in with me by subscribing and smashing that like button so the YouTube algorithm will push this video to other like-minded hustlers. Y'all leave me a happy hustles in the comments. And as always, happy hustles.